Second team has Estro, but that's a Yone last pick for leader. Double AD solo laners. Look at the top side champions. It's Armageddon on the Rift. I absolutely cannot wait to see individual solo kills. And while sometimes he died in the process, it's been a clean performance from him so far across the season. That said, a bit of engage on the bottom side. Now, Bupa moving in. That's going to be the Maw coming in. That's the ball of CC. Good damage going down. LeBron has been caught out. The Spears are there. First blood. Bupa gets the reset. And they could look to dive this. Hillisang's low, but Bupa with the stolen Leone. He's got a few more seconds. He's going to lock up Crown Shot, though. Quick buffer out to safety means the Crown Shot will walk away. Self made now onto the bottom side. Hillisang has summoners. They don't have a heal, but a TP's coming in. Saying, does he have the leap out to safety? Stun comes in, they body block. They're gonna try to burn self down before he gets anything done. Clean combo coming out. Whippo gonna heal right back up. Burn, baby, burn. Leader getting cut down. Whippo right where... Should get level six on the Rennington. And Adam trading very aggressively here. Adam, only level five though. He's going to be in trouble. Has to start to walk away. Niski on the way. Yeah, but he's gonna get burned down here. There's no way he makes it out. The axe slow, not enough. The flash forward. Cold like are looking a bit difficult for Vitality. Yeah, you got the solo. Oh, and that's it. Okay, the holds here. Hillisang, definitely not where he needs to be. He's going to try to leap out to safety. I don't think Whippo can save him on this one. Ocean Drake now coming in. Crown Shot maybe going to try to finish this one out. Backstep with the ultimate there. Upset now going to be the one in trouble. Leader on the way down. He does have the ultimate as well as Soul Unbound, but doesn't want to overcommit here. Instead, they're going to be happy with just this Ocean Drake. Bit of a leash comes in from Fnatic, but that's going to be about it. No follow up from Fnatic, and Vitality going to take that one. That was a very weird play there from Vitality. I think they could have gotten a lot more. They probably could have forced more out of Whippo and no, Hillisang. We were expecting Jungle mainly to be the focus here, and it might continue to be as Hillisang could now be in trouble. Lebrov waiting in the darkness. Niski can reactivate. It's going to be good damage coming in from the second stack of E. Big damage going forward. That's the reset. The flat for the wall from self made. He wants to turn. Hillisang's still alive for now, but it's a TP on the backside. Well called. Now Whippo going in unstoppable, trying to finish up clear. The stun is there. He's now gonna leap out. He's gonna grab another one. He turns into the rumble, but still, there's so much damage coming in from SLT. This Renekton, is he gonna be unstoppable? It does not look like it. The turn, the burn, Fnatic take the skirmish. That's a 3 on the cross map. Adam still has flash. Selfmade's looking for him. He has the ultimate as well. That said, Adam, flash and alt available, so buying space for Renekton to get some plates of his own, but in the meantime, Upset is taking back even more on the opposite side of the map. Yeah, look at Crownshot. He pushed in midwave and base, and he's running bolt to try and cover this bot tier two because Fnatic have tempo heaven here. They could go for more. They're getting Dragon as well. They're forcing on a bot tier two. Look at the wide. Leader gonna snap back at the perfect time to dodge out on that one. He was saying, I think, hoping to catch Leader on the way back, but ultimately it doesn't work out. Yeah, look at the trade off. Vitality lost mid waves because Crown Shot moved towards bot lane. They lost two towers bot. They've lost Dragon. What have they got for it? They've got absolutely nothing. They've got one plate in top and full vision on Fnatic's top side jungle upset. I look for a leader Not here. Care. Oh, leader has leader to come has back. Has to go back. <laughs> Three, two, go. Fate sealed. But that's for leader. Massive, massive lead. Fnatic's early skirmishing has been flawless. Vitality have been at best even, and at worst, one step behind. That smite trick only saved your early game, buddy. Not enough left anymore. Red. red buff taken away by Crown Shot. A bit of a consolation prize, but Adam now going to be in trouble. He has no ultimate left. SLT going to be able to grab the stun, but here comes Niski looking for the ball. Leader over the wall. Niski now going to try to walk back. them to make top six, and anything below that would probably be really disappointing. Certainly would be, but maybe this is the start of the turn. That's the equalizer now going down. Hillisang has been pulled out to safety. Whippo with the area still coming down. That's a three-man knockup. Hillisang got backing up. Crown Shot going to be in trouble. No concussive blows. No stun coming in from Whippo. Vitality will walk away from now, but Lebrov is incredibly low. They're going to have to concede this top tier one. That was a 2v4 for the first five to ten seconds of the fight. Whippo just arrived kind of later on, and Vitality have to give it up. You can see the strength of upset with one and a half item on Kalista. Pretty much untouchable. And Vitality losing on the tower. That is a great way to come back into the game. But a Herald for Fnatic means one wrong fight can turn in their favor. Upset untouched on the backside for now. Lebron leaping forward. He gets an all down when there's no ball. Leader coming over the wall. Big damage goes in on Upset. That's massive. Snaps back and they manage to grab the kill. SLT exactly where he needs to be. But now Niski's going to look to clean house. How long on the dash? How long on the slice and dice? Not enough time to make it out. Fnatic still taking this. And you can see in theory, the power of this Renekton and this Yone. If, if Upset ever gets locked up, even for a moment, they have so much damage, they can instantly one-shot him. With Niski and Adam as well, but look at the SLT. Might be a bit deep here. Leader doesn't have TP just yet. Selfmates are on, but I think he might just die here. One stack. Trying to get the one-for-one. One. SLT walking away. He was in trouble here. Trying to take a lot of damage. But now gets the reset. Try to double dash. The Noble's out of control. There's a TP coming in from Leader. Upset, no summoners. He could die here if they commit to it. Soul unbound. Fate sealed up the wall, just hit a pillow thing. It's going to be big damage coming in. Pulls him back with the ultimate. Whippo now on the hunt here. 
passive now. Proc leader gonna be in trouble. Wants to try to turn. He does good damage, but not nearly good enough. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, there's a big fight breaking out. SLT in the midst of every single member. Quiffle pulling back. It's the stolen Yone, and it might just be enough. Picks up another champion, moves in. He's Renekton now, too. Fnatic just tearing through this fight. Vitality continue to try to force, and it just has not been the right choice. Oh, poor crown shot. He's trying to 1v1 on Akali. He, can't, he absolutely can't do anything. Just gets taken down by Niski and Vitality. Just keep over forcing the plays. They lost four members for one, and it's the support on Fnatic, and now they're going to lose Baron as well. You could argue Vitality have to force because because of how far behind they are, Fnatic can just start Baron and turn eventually. So they try to find a fight. In the end, it doesn't work. Fnatic going to take four kills and a Baron here. 21 minutes too early in the game to play on three. You don't want to get caught out too much. Niski might go in on the self-made here. Big damage, self-made almost immediately taken out, but good CC now being layered. Niski goes golden for a brief moment. Leader can try to finish the job up here with a soul and Falcon. Niski's still alive for now. He's gonna get taken out. LeBron traded in the process. Leader needs to run for the hills. That's the exhaust ticking down. He misses the Q on the minion. He has no way out. He has to use the ultimate early, but the stun is still there. Upset looking for the follow-up. They're now chasing him. Hillisang going big under the tower. Getting pulled back now by Upset. I think they've realized they're not gonna bite off more than they can chew in that exchange. Fnatic will back away. It's non-stop fighting here, isn't it? It's one kill a minute as we get towards the 22, 23 minute mark in the game. Crouch, Crouch just forwards! He might get engaged on so upset. crazy, just so crazy it might work. Leaps in, gets one back, but not definitely not oh, worth it. Crouch on now locked up and taken out by the tower. <gasps> Griffo, you don't reset tower aggro when you're gonna reset. He just goes back in, tanks a tower shot and instantly dies. Upsets 10 and 1 on this Kalista so far ahead, but his team just keeps fighting non-stop. In the end, Vitality, I don't know how many trade-offs that was, but a few Baron buffs of- There's maybe a dream world where the leader gets the Fog of War, alt five people, and they can just instantly win a fight with Rumble alt. Like but inspired. Like inspired, but that's very difficult to pull off. They don't have a Nocturne to hide everything in darkness. And similarly, Fnatic have just about total control over the map and certainly over the bottom side where SLT is now taking up his home. Not allowed to be here, buddy. That's going to be the big stun on the Spectral Mod. Double dash out to safety, but you're getting run down by a Callista Braum. There yeah, is fine, guys. no escape. <laughs> so they need to find something. They're grouping up here, but Whippo might find them first. Charge the stun. Whippo in the midst of everyone, though, is just going to get one tap. All tap to safety with the Unstoppable. Now flashes in as well. Fate Seal, Leader leaps forward. He can now leap back as well. He's waiting as long as possible. Pulling the E. The exhaust not going to be too effective, but it's Niski in the midst of everyone. And Fnatic, again, just tearing through Vitality. Yes, they get the kill on Whippo, but it's traded for two. Niski remains on the hunt. Crown trying to free fire. Shuriken missing is going to be a big... Rumble. He tanks the Renekton burst, and he does die. Upset, Niski, Adam. They have so many threats on the team. No matter who you kill, the others will just pick up the damage and pick up the slack. They might not be able to get an inhibitor here. self mates up in six. There's no room for Vitality to contest this one. They're going to walk away. They're going to give up Mountain Soul, maybe in hopes of taking away Baron. And there's a blow up in the pits for Baron from Fnatic, so they know that it's all started up. Vitality has to turn. Adam caught up, but that's the ultimate coming out. He's just walking back into the Rumble. All he is unconcerned. Adam happy to keep the fight going. Fnatic. Now on the chase, Vitality retreating, but with Mountain Soul already gone, you have to feel like that's it. Vitality are dead, they just don't know it yet. Adam can TP back. There was a blue orb in the pit, so they knew that Vitality didn't start it up. They knew they were gonna turn. Upset might go in here. Flashes forward, throws Hillisang into the mix. Hillisang now backing up. Whippo getting the reset. He's gonna grab one more. It's the Leona. He's in the midst of the entire team. Fate sealed. We'll try to take Leader out to safety. He has to run for the hills. Niski now going in. E2 already been used. Leader just taken down instantly, and it's all too easy. Fnatic take the fight. Whippo on the chase. He's gonna pull back there as the Yone possessed. Fades away and Fnatic should close this one out. Yeah, 40 seconds on Vitality. That's going to be game. Fnatic have a mid wave. They're going to push in. They have such an insane gold lead. And Upset can just free hit straight through Vitality. You can see when Vitality don't get an engage and they have to run, there's absolutely nothing they can do. The Yone ult was used defensively. They don't manage to escape. Crown shot, the only one left. And clean game from Fnatic. We expected more consistency. We wanted more consistency from this lineup. And they've definitely found it in this game. Started with skirmishes on the bottom side. It ends with fountain diving for fun. Fanatic, as you said, absolutely.